Welcome back to our grade 10 maths lessons. I am Miss Awinup, your maths teacher. Okay, in our last lesson, we looked at drawing linear functions, all right, given an equation, all right. In this lesson, we are going to do the opposite. As you can see, we already have a graph on our board. From this graph, we are going to form an equation, all right. So that's our topic for today. Forming equations of linear functions. So, two of the most important things that we need to form an equation is, one, the gradient, and two, you need the y-intercept, okay? So we've already learned how to, how to get the gradient from a graph. We have to draw a right angle triangle. All right, so from this right angle triangle, and I will stress again here, we are not using Pythagoras. We need to draw that triangle so we can see the number of units up or down and the number of units across that we need. All right, now our line is lying toward the left, so that means that this line will have a negative gradient. So we are counting the units down this way. Now let's write our equation, gradient is equal to rise over run, all right, rise over run. So how many units do we go down? We have two units down, so our rise is going to be negative two, and our run in this case here is one, two units to the right. So we have positive 2 as the denominator. So the gradient of our graph, all right, negative 2 divided by positive 2 is going to be a negative result of 1, all right? Negative result of 1. So gradient in this case for our graph here is negative 1. Remember, gradient is what we use to measure how steep a line is, okay? It measures the slope of a line. Right, now that we have our gradient, we need to find the y-intercept. On a graph, it's very easy to identify because the y-intercept is the point where our straight line cuts the y-axis, okay? In this case, our line crosses the y-axis at the point negative 2, all right? So y intercept, y intercept is equal to negative 2. The general rule in this case, because it has a y intercept, will be y equal to mx plus c. m representing gradient and c representing the y intercept. So what we do now is simply uh, substitute the values that we have already found into the general rule. So in this case, gradient is negative 1. So in place of m, we will write negative 1x. And in place of c, we will write the point at which it cuts the x-axis. Sorry, y-axis, which is negative 2. All right? Now, y equal to negative 1x minus 2. We can't leave it like this because one of the rules of equations is if, if there is a 1 before x or coefficient of x, we don't need to write 1. We simply write the sign. So the equation of this line here is y equal to negative x minus 
2. Okay? So that's how we find the equation of a line when a graph is given. We identify the gradient, we identify the y-intercept, and then we substitute it into the general rule. Okay? So this is the equation that describes the placement of our points here. Okay? Now sometimes, sometimes a graph may not be given, but you will be told that the line passes through two points. Okay? Now I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll put up our points here on the board and we will go through it together. Okay, our points are positive 1 and positive 2. And we have the second point, which is positive 5, positive 4. So we are not given a graph, but we need to find the equation. And we only provided with two of the coordinates. Now we've already seen that we can find the gradient using two points. So that's where we are going to start. Okay, and the equation or formula of that, uh, finding the gradient is m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2, x1. All right, now remember what we did in our last lesson. This is point number one. So the coordinates are x1 and y1. This is point number two, so this is x2 and y2. So we simply substitute those coordinates into our formula so that we can find the gradient. So y2 in this case is 4 and y1 is 2 divided by x2 is 5 and x1 is 1. Okay. 4 minus 2 is 2, 5 minus 1 is 4, okay? Now, we can't leave our answer as this. It's a fraction that needs to be simplified. So, our gradient is not 2 over 4, but 1 over 2, okay? 1 over 2. Now, I must mention here that when a gradient is less than 1, okay, M is less than 1, the line will be less steep, okay? Less steep meaning the slope is not as steep. If you have gradient which is greater than 1, then the line will be steeper. Now we have this Cartesian plane here. Let's show how that will look. Now if it is less than 1, then our slope will be almost a straight line, okay? Not as steep as this one. But if it is greater than one, now we have a steeper line that may look like that, okay? So this one, M, is greater than one, and this one here would be m less than 1. Now we need to identify the y-intercept. How do we do that when we are given only two points? Okay, now what we do is we use one of the points and we use the value of the gradient. Okay, so we use the general equation which is y equal to mx plus C. We already know the gradient, okay? We need to find the y-intercept before we form the equation. Now, how do we do that? We have gradient and we have value of x and y. So we are going to use one of these points. Let's use x1, y1, okay? We will substitute 1, 2 into our general equation. So in place of y, we are going to write 2, okay? Our gradient is half. In place of x, we will write 1, okay? And our unknown value is c, which is the y-intercept, okay? Now, 
we have an equation that we need to solve because we have to find C. So let's do that. 2 is equal to 1 times half will be half plus C. Take half across to 2, it's positive. So when I move it to this side, I will subtract. So 2 minus half is equal to C. 2 minus half is 1 and a half, okay? That's what's left. 1 and a half is equal to C. Now, C is the y-intercept. Usually, we don't use a mixed number in an equation. So we have to change this into an improper fraction. And we do that by multiplying the denominator by the whole number. So 2 times 1 and add it to the numerator. 2 times 1 plus 3, sorry, plus 1 will give us 3 over 2. OK? So that's the value of our y-intercept, OK? This graph will have a line that has a gradient of a half and a y-intercept of 3 over 2. Now, how do we write this as an equation? You follow that general rule again. y equal to mx plus c, OK? So we will write y is equal to a gradient of half x plus the intercept of 3 over 2, OK? So here's the equation of the line. We were not given a graph, but if you have two points, you can still find the equation of a line, OK? Now that brings us to the end of our lesson. I hope you have learned something new. In our next lesson, we are going to look at how to sketch a graph quickly, all right, and how to apply linear functions in everyday situations. See you next time.